Hey, when's the last time you've been to a reptile show? What is up, guys? So it is about 5.30 in the morning, so I apologize for the really crappy lighting. Um, we're, I'm in the truck waiting for Dad to get here. Uh, we're heading off to the Sacramento Reptile Show. Uh, Savannah couldn't come, so that kind of sucks, but... Uh, yeah, but we have a, we have a pretty fun stop along the way. Sacramento, baby. Sacramento, but tell them where we're going right now. We're gonna go get the two and a half foot anaconda burrito. Two foot anaconda burrito. So on the way to Sacramento is a place in Fresno. Um, I forget the store name, but they're famous for selling the anaconda burrito. So this is gonna be like a. We don't do this often, so we're gonna go go try it. It's big. Yeah, so it's two and a half feet long and it's massive. So next time we'll see you, we'll be in Fresno. They cut it in half. Oh, they do? It's in half. This is the... Fresno's famous anaconda burrito. Holy oh, crap, that's my hands first. <laughs> Holy shit. You ready to take this down? As much as possible. <laughs> right, so we're working our way on this anaconda burrito. Tastes pretty good? No, I... Yeah, it's really good, but it's freaking huge, guys. All right, guys, so we're eating this anaconda burrito. We're in Fresno. I saw this video off of BuzzFeed and the uh, burrito is insane. This is actually just one burrito. They cut that in half. I would say that's a little over three feet. So me and my dad are trying to chow this down, but I don't think we're gonna be able to finish it. So I have a question. What? How much of this big bad boy do you think you're gonna eat? Probably about right here. Where at? I don't think you can finish it, dude. Dude, it's a lot. We'll check in yeah. and see how far you actually get. We'll see. All right. All right, guys, so I'm in the reptile show in Sacramento, California. Now, this is the farthest uh, show I've done from me. This is about an eight hour drive, so normally don't do these uh, long distance shows, but I'm on a mission right now to find some pretty cool stuff to film so I can show you guys and show you how cool of a show this is. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some amazing animals right now.
without it. Ooh. All right, guys, so we're at Jason Amo's Reptiles. This is a scaleless pin stripe. So how old is this one? She's about two years old now. Two years old? And she is beautiful. What was the pairing? Uh, Xanthic scaleless head to a lemon blast scaleless head. Wow. She is absolutely beautiful. It's crazy what the pinstripe did to the scaleless, or what the scaleless did to the pinstripe, I should say. When we when she hatched, there was none of the dark colors. She was all light. So she got that as she All that dark color on the sides came in later. Wow. She's they have one big scale on the tip of their nose, and that's where the egg tooth is, so they're still able to cut out of their eggs. Wow, that is absolutely beautiful. So she's about, what, two years old? Two years old. Two years old? Next month. Wow, what a sweetheart. What's she feeding on right now? Uh, fresh killed rat pups. Weaned rats. But you can't really do live with the scaleless, huh? Because they have I don't like to, and not because they bite them, more because the back legs, when they're kicking, Trapping. scratch up their sides. Makes total sense, yeah. That's a beautiful... People think it's because they bite them, but when they bite a snake with scales, it goes right through. Yeah. Doesn't protect them from the bites, just the I didn't even scratches. think about the kicking, but yeah, that is just a beautiful looking snake. I do like the snakes here. Share the vlog. Yoo-hoo! Yeah, so we're over here at Morph Grinders. Right now, he's gonna tell us about this beautiful doing, looking guys? python. Messy out there. So this is a banana mimosa. Basically, you take a, a champagne ghost, or in our case, we took a, a banana champagne head ghost to our ghost female, and this is what we produced. It's a nice purple head. It's got a lot of oranges, and some of the purples that are running through all the way through the dorsal, dorsal stripe. Beautiful looking snake. How many eggs did you get in the clutch? So the clutch was eight. And out of that, head to visual, we got um, six visuals and then uh, one head female. Wow, that's a beautiful looking snake. All right, you got any Thank more you. you want to show us? Yeah, definitely. I mean, he has a beautiful selection, guys. Look at that killer pound, super dope. Check out the clown. clown. So, all right, this is uh, we hit four visual clowns in this clutch. It was eight eight clutch, um, and then we got uh, four pastels. Nice. So she was, you know, obviously the best um, that we could get out of the clutch, out of the uh, pairing. So and was it sister? Was it we, pastel clown, pastel clown? No, it was a pastel clown, a pastel head clown. Gotcha. So 50, 50 percent. Wow. And you guys hit it. Definitely. That's a beautiful looking animal. Thank I've you. always wanted to produce these guys. I've never got the chance to do it yet. Yeah. Super sick. And this is the sibling you right here? You invested in it uh, two years ago? I don't know, two years ago. Two and years that's ago? That's a sibling, yeah. That's a sibling right there? And that's a uh, pastel clown? Uh, yeah, pastel clown. Dude, super cool. Wow. So this right here is a uh, gold blush, Mojave, head clown. Well, if you guys are familiar with Brian Gundy out there, I'm sure you are. Uh, it's a project we we started working on, so we're hoping to see you know what the gold blush does uh, to the clown. Hopefully by next year, we'll have a clutch or two, so that we can see what it does. Uh, I think he's gonna clean up the pastel a lot, you know, yeah. and, and space out the alien heads. Wow, it's that's... gonna give you a lot of floating pattern as well. That's typical of the gold blush mojave. They have those alien heads that are uh, that are floating and not really going down to the, the belly area. That's a beautiful looking snake. All right, man. Well, thank, thank you very you. much thank for you. showing us. Follow us on snakes. IG, Morph Grinders. Yep, make sure to go ahead and follow them. It's Morph Grinders. Pretty awesome. Hey, Karenko with Doobie Deli. I'm here with Middle Earth Reptiles. We're, you know, tearing it up here in Sacramento. Uh, we had a good time. We sold a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Doobie Deli, we were known for roaches, but now we are branching out to rodents. Hell yeah. We're, we're planning to be the biggest wholesaler in California. So, look us up. Here's our information. For sure. 
make sure to check them out guys they mean business and you know they're they're really good guys they're really good just, all right man just like middle earth <laughs>